All right, I think I'm streaming now. I think everything is good. I hope everything is good. Let's find out if everything is working. I was having some trouble in um, in the last few day times I've gone live for my patrons where I haven't been able to make this setup work, but I feel like it's working now. So let me just double check and make sure everything is showing up in all of the things. Where, 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 where? Okay, you all see me, but I don't see me. So I need to find, give me one second just to make sure everything is happening on my channel for me so I can see it because I can't see it. Bye, Jess. See ya. He's, Bye. he's going to a gig. The kids are here, but Jesse's got a gig, so. <laughs> All right, I can see that it's working. Let me just make sure everything is good. Okay. All right. Everything's working. Okay, we're good. I'm going to just move this over here so I can see what I'm doing. I apologize for any background noise you get today. The, uh, the, uh, our house is getting primed, so like the primer sprayed on, so there's a lot of noise going on. I've got the doors open as much as I can because we've had to have parts of the house closed up for the past couple of days. Loki is underneath me. He is under my desk. He is stressed out as fuck because his, uh, between the painting and the vacuuming that happened today, the cat is on edge. So he's hiding under my desk right by my feet. Hi, everybody. I am so excited you're all here. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so we're, we're planning out the week now that all that's done. We're, we're planning out the week, and I asked for suggestions in my last plan with me, and I got a lot of suggestions, and then I just talked with my patrons about potential ideas, and the idea was I want to do something that's going to be annoying for me, but at the same time, I could still use it, and a lot of you wanted me to do pen only, which is something I've done before, but um, maybe some of you've missed it. And a lot of you wanted me to use a color I don't like. And so I'm going to combine those and I'm going to do this color that I'm not a fan of that I don't use very often, but it's, it's to uh, commemorate my friend Jody. For those of you who don't know Jody Bergeson, Jody, uh, Jody just had to put her cat Church, whose nickname is Turkey, down and Church and Turkey and, Ar and Loki, I can't even, I don't even know who I'm talking about, were somewhat of kitty friends like they like I'd show Loki pictures of turkey and blah 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 so orange is Judy's is Jody's favorite color and so I'm going to use orange and I've got orange pens and orange highlighters and this is all I'm going to use on this week's plans all right um I also did not get my plans together I was supposed to but then I wound up doing checking out the paint job on the house and so I didn't wind up putting together my usual little sheet of paper that has all of my stuff on it so this is going to be a little bit more disjointed than usual all right and I have a mimosa in in honor of the orange I have a mimosa <laughs> made with cava like a Spanish sparkling wine because it was cheap and not bad um, okay, so let's get, let's get going to the, uh, the situation. Let's go into this planning situation. All right. Okay. So what do we got? And I'm going to have to leave this in too, I guess, because I'm not using whiteout. So yay, question mark. We'll see. All right, so the first thing I need to do is divide up my shit. Now, some of you guys know that this week I'm going to New York at the end of the week. So there is that. And I'm not going to get to use a ruler either. So we'll get to draw some straight lines. All right. Uh, what should I do? At least these hexagons are kind of an orangey color, so it's not going to look too, too odd. And once I've used one of these, I should put it to the side so I go through all the colors. That's something else I've done before is once I've used a certain color, I have to set it to the side and I can't use it again until I've used every single color in this pile. And I've got a handful of orange and yellow markers and a handful of orange and yellowy whatever colored 
mild liners. So I'm going to start with this orange and I'm going to draw in my lines for my meal plans and my weather and so on and so forth. Is that straight? That's straight-ish. <laughs> straight-ish. <sighs> Pen only, Pam. I'm gonna have to draw some washi in. That'll happen in a bit. We'll start here. This is just my simple washi. Look at my nice straight lines. Aren't they straight and beautiful? And for my blood pressure. <laughs> Use one of the pens for the ruler. <laughs> That's a good idea, Sarah. Let's see if that works. Let's try that. Oh man, that's way lower than I wanted it to be. <laughs> Whoops. It did work better, but this blood pressure is gonna get like all the space in the world. Okay. There's that washi. And then, do I take my planner when I travel? Not usually. Well, it depends. I will often take a notebook with me when I travel, but I won't take my planner with me because uh, it's just one extra thing to carry and I don't really look at it very much. I rely on my Google Calendar if I have dates and things I have to keep an eye on. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this other orange here and I'm gonna do the dividing thing that I like to do sometimes. So this is all working in the name of washi tape. Oh God, this is all so crooked. See, it's working. <laughs> the tiny EC ruler, yes. Do I have a white pen I could use as whiteout? Oh, that would take so long. That's a good idea. I heard Tombow has an actual whiteout pen. I've never actually gotten one of those before. Okay, there's my lines and they're also a little crooked. I think I need a drink. Oh, RJ, RJ, RJ. RJ! Give me a second, I'm gonna cover my mic up. RJ! If he is on the couch, right in front of me with his headphones on, I swear to God. Give me one second. Were you ignoring me? <laughs> Go get me Gorby. Why? Because I have to go, I have to have, to have Gorby. Go, go get me Gorby. He's on the gorm. He was ignoring me. Oh, you need to go to the bathroom first. Okay. So Gorbachev has to wait on RJ's bladder. Thank you for the reminder, Aaron. <laughs> R.I.P. Headphone. I'm sorry, you guys, for killing you, for killing your hearing. I apologize in advance. <laughs> That's not Gorby. This is not Gorby. RJ. when you got up to get me. Because I have standards. Get me Gorby. Get me Gorby. 10 out of 10, he's going to get me another nesting dolls. Yes, this is pen only. Gorby, RJ, not hand sanitizer. No, not halls of medicine. No, get me Gorby. No, get me all of Gorby. No, all of the dolls, not just. He said he brought me Brishev, but he did not bring me the Gorby. Okay, come on. Go get the rest of Gorby, please. Thank you. Just go. Okay, while well, he's getting the rest of Gorby. <sighs> all right, so here is where we're at so far. The all of Gorby. This is not appropriate. 
Go get me Gorby's pants. If you can't have him be pantsless. In Mother Russia, your pants wear you. <laughs> Are you eating one of the halls of medicine? What? You brought me Gorby and a nesting doll egg. What's in this one anyway? Oh, look, how cute. Are you bringing me all of the nesting dolls now? No, no, that was not a challenge. Oh my God. Okay, I'm putting Gorby there and this, he brought me this one too. Oh wait, this is the first one he brought me. There's the egg. He's bringing me more. All of the Gorby friends are coming. I brought you penguin. <laughs> okay. Okay, 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 that's enough. Get out of here. Okay. <sighs> Okay, don't, no, 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 no. You're gonna have to put all these back. Gorby and friends. <laughs> I'm not gonna have any room left on my desk when he's done with all of these. Do I collect nesting dolls? Um, not, okay, I have to get working on the you rest of my, technically. no, I don't collect them. These were all, um, inherit, they, I inherited all of these. I don't actually go out and collect them, but my grandmother's father immigrated from Russia and my grandma and all of her sisters collected nesting dolls. And as like one of my aunts passed away, I got a lot of these from her and I'll get probably some more from my grandma when she passes away. All right. Okay, leave Loki alone, RJ. He's like super stressed out right now. Look at him. He's hiding under my legs. That means you need to leave him alone. Mm -hmm. Okay? Just let leave him be. He's really stressed out right now. Okay, shoo. Go watch your show. You can put your headphones back on. I still need to go to the bathroom. You still, oh, you still need to go to the bathroom. That's why. He, so he doesn't pee super oh, okay, far. My bathroom's open. Go use mine. I can't. Why not? You're distracting me. I'm trying to work here. You're and we're talking, talking about your me. urination habits. You keep talking to me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Moving forward. I'm going to put in my meal plans for the week. And I'm trying to decide how to use these pens best. So I'm going to use this one for meal plans and for weather. And my meal plans are written on the board behind me. RJ, stop, dude. What is this thing? Anyway? It's a scratcher. It's a cat is scratcher. It, why is it angled so weirdly? I don't know, because that's what it is. Chicken. <coughs> Pesto. Okay, I feel like the RJ hour is now over. Pasta. And then what color is my nails? This is the in cocoa or the coconut strips. I don't remember what color it is though. They've chipped, these ones have chipped super easily though. So I don't know if I would recommend this particular color, whatever it is, even though it's cool looking. Okay, I need to grab the weather. Lots of wind expected today. I haven't seen any wind yet. Like barely a breeze. Allegedly, it's going to rain tomorrow. Allegedly. Just in time for our house to get primer on it. Of course. <laughs> uh, all these years watching, you've never seen RJ. It was like spotty Bigfoot. Well, he does have big feet. I think he wears a size 11 or 12 in men's. He's 5 foot 11 and he's 13. My son is a giant. Okay. Tuesday is chicken tacos. And the reason I'm looking behind me is because I had written my meal plan on my Erin Condren whiteboard that was up in the kitchen, but then the new one arrived. That was the Thursday or the Friday through Thursday instead of the Monday through Sunday. 
So it's actually fitting with our custody schedule. And Jesse, I was gone. At, we, I was at, where was I? I was at grocery shopping or something yesterday when it showed up. And Jesse pulled out the old one and rewrote my meal plan for me. So he's a sweet boy. And Sunday is 84, 58. Would I check up a planner that is based on a TV show? I'm not sure. If you mean like review one, maybe. RJ with shorter hair is weird. Yeah, his short hair looks great on him though. Okay, um, Wednesday, sunny, cloudy. And then, and I'm actually going to put the whole week's worth of weather in because when I travel, I like to go, even though it's not quite accurate yet, I like to know kind of what I'm in for so that when I pack and I make my packing list, I know what I'm sort of getting myself into. Okay, wait, Wednesday is... Uh, we're going to, I have to get, I'm just going to put fruit salad. You're going to be like for dinner. We're going to a meet the minister dinner at one of the other parents' houses from church. So the, all the youth can like sit and chat with our minister, our new minister together. And so we have been tasked with bringing a fruit salad to the potluck. So I'm just going to put fruit salad for Wednesday. And then Thursday we're doing the, um, spaghetti squash egg nest, uh, bird nest or something like that. They're like a breakfast thing. You cook an egg like in the spaghetti squash little nests. Nests. I'm just giving up on my liver in there. Okay. So I'm going to use, so Friday I'm going to just use Napa weather because we don't fly out till late. Because the red eye. And then I need the weekend weather. Do I have it on here, Vegas? Napa, nope. Pull Napa out of here and put in um, East Setauket. There we go. Ooh, it's cooler in New York. Cool. Oh, nice. Thank you, Charlotte. My book is mostly done. I wrote my acknowledgments. I did some revisions for them. Um, I think there's one more email I have to kind of check in on, but I think my work for the book is mostly done. I got to look at at a, um, like a mock-up of some of the of all of the pages of it, and it looks really good. Thank you, Tiggy. All right, my next live should be R.J. Wright's draws everything in your planner as you dictate for him. God, that would be so frustrating. <laughs> <laughs> so Friday night we're out because we're going to be uh, going late and then Saturday and so I'm just going to put New York because I don't know what's happening on these days. New York in New York, concrete jungle where dreams are made of, there's nothing you can do. Now you're in New York. Okay. In the 50s. Well, it's in the 50s at night here, too. Did you see my weather? Napa weather is cool at night. 40s. That's bend. Wrong one. 50s. 40s and 50s. See? That's what Napa weather, even on hot days, like 89 degrees, still 58 degrees at night. Okay, wait, where was I at? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. So, I am using Erin Condren dual tip marker. Okay, so Friday, I put that in. Saturday, Sunday 9, And then Sunday, 80, 66. Let's look at the thing I'm scared of the most, humidity. <laughs> All right. Um, your brother-in-law lives in Tracy. My sister lives in Tracy. I grew up there. Okay, so there's my meal planning. And like, I don't have meal planning done for the... I know that on Sunday, we'll probably be eating dinner either in the city or on the way back from the city because we're going to be in the city to see Hadestown. 
So, um, but the rest of the time we're there, we're going to be on Long Island hanging out with Jesse's family. Hey, Stephanie. Drinking, drinking my orange juice plus sparkling wine. Okay, here we go. This is done so far. I don't even know. I'm losing track of which markers I've used. Okay, now that this is done, I need to put some washi tape. We got to do some, I need to drink some more for that. So let's, let's cheers. If you're drinking with me, let's drink a little bit because it's been a long video and I've only done this so far because of teenagers. So I'm going to chug down some of this mimosa and when it starts to kick in, we'll do some drawn in washi tape because I need it to kick in before I do that. All right. You'll be directly across the Long Island Sound from me, Maddie. I hope you're going to come see me on Sunday if you're able to. I don't know what time yet. Probably in the early, in the late morning. Our showing of Hades Town is at 3. So I'm hoping to meet up with some people uh, before that in the city. Did I know I'm using Tracy Weather, not Napa? Am I? Oh, shit. Oh no. Napa. Ah, oh, well, it's close enough. <laughs> okay. I'm doing a meetup in the city. Yes, something along those lines. I don't know exactly how it's going to work yet. I don't know where or when. Probably my guess is around 11 or 12. We might be in the city twice when we're there because Jesse, even though he never wants to go to the city more than once when we go to New York, found out that there is a exhibition of like an exhibit of guitars, including Stevie or like Stevie Ray Vaughan or somebody, including their guitar at the Met. And now he wants to go back to the city, even though I've always had to beg him to go to the city. As soon as there's a big guitar display, suddenly we can go to New York a whole bunch when we're in the state. Not that I'm salty or anything. So. All right. <laughs> anyway. Okay. Where are we at? So I'm going to drink a little bit more before we do the washi tape. In the meantime, I got to get some shit on here, but I got to open my calendar up because I did not make my normal list of things that are going on. I am behind as fuck this week. I will let you all know that like this week I am having a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble uh, staying on top of my shit. So be prepared. Um, nice, Jeanette. That's awesome. Okay. What do we got? Looking at both my calendars. Okay, I'm gonna burp. I'm gonna burp. Excuse me. Okay, we're good. All right, Monday, my podcast, I have to do my patron post and my podcast goes live, so I have to do my Facebook post for the podcast. So uh, we'll do, I'm gonna do some, I'm gonna use these to alternate the neons between these days so or like for both of them so we'll do uh c p content peak and then we'll do the yellow so i'm gonna do some highlighter some highlighter shit highlighter shit okay uh in my facebook post Here's my little fake Facebook logo. God, this is so bright. I'm not going to be able to read this. Podcast post Facebook. Hope nothing's important on this, like, pale yellow. Irish coffee would be all right, Mel. <sighs> okay, Tuesday. What do we got? A patron live. Yes, Patreon Live is on Tuesday, so I'm going to draw some hearts for that because I love my patrons. <gasps> they make me so happy. That doesn't look like a heart. I don't know what that looks like, but it's not a heart. kind of looks like a little bunghole. Okay, Patreon Live. And then what else on Tuesday? Ah! Um...
Ooh, what happened to somebody's brother? Something happened to somebody's brother. Wait, wait, wait. What did I miss? Somebody's brother. Oh, you started stopped playing your brother died about three years ago. Oh, I'm sorry about your brother, dude. But yeah, just use your pens. And to go along with that, who said something else said something? Tutu Garden said hesitant to write in your planner because you might fuck it up. Look what I'm doing to my planner. I'm writing in it with bright yellow. I can't even read. So if I can do this, and if I could do this to my planner, if I can do this to my planner, you can write in your planner. This, this, this is what I'm trying to avoid this week though, because I do need to use my planner every single day. I'm just saying. So, <laughs> um, and we have to pay bills on Tuesday. Pay bills. Wednesday, uh, we have our Meet the Minister dinner at 6 p.m. And it's early release. So I'm going to put ER. And you haven't planned the same way since your mother-in-law passed almost three years ago. Yeah, you guys, I can understand what it's like to is have it be hard to get back on the horse after a big loss. Like I can speak from personal experience. But the thing is, if it's something you enjoy doing, like if creative planning or sitting down with your planner is something you enjoy doing, Sometimes it's hard to get back to that enjoyment when you're already like super upset and bummed out by the things that have happened in your, like the bad thing, the really bad things that have happened in your life. But you should give it a try anyway, even if you have to kind of fake it until you start getting that feeling back. And if you don't ever get that feeling back, then just do what you need to do to get on with your life and not find a new hobby. But like, if you can rekindle some of that joy, that's a good thing, you know? All right. You can't read the neon yellow or the orange either. Yeah. Okay. So this is our dinner. So um, I'm going to draw like a plate of food, even though that doesn't really look like food and dinner with Lisa, 6 p.m. Okay. And then this is so hard for me to read too. And then on the 19th, um, which is Thursday... I need to make sure to record my podcast. There's my microphone. And then we'll draw the laundry basket. Oh, wrong color. Ah, eh, whatever. So that's Thursday. Friday, I need to schedule next week. And then I need to, and then we fly. But I'll put that on here. So pack. And schedule next week. And then Saturday, I'm going to put sl sleep because we will have flown a red eye and I don't do well, very well with red eyes. So I will likely be sleeping the majority of Saturday morning and afternoon because we won't be getting into Long Island until probably like 9 a.m. Our flight leaves at like midnight here. And so I will probably sleep most of the day on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I'm going to put our meetup. I don't know when though yet. So I should probably put schedule that somewhere on here. Meetup. New York. And then Hades Town is going to go over here. So I don't know what else we'll do on Sunday. Fuck, I don't know. Okay, we'll figure that out later. Okay. When I started a bullet journal, did I make it fancy with drawings and lettering? Yes, sort of. And then I realized it was more, um, it was more, it was becoming more about the art, the art and the lettering than it was about the bullet journaling. So I stopped doing that as much. 
I have other stuff going on the 20th too, but we'll come back to that. Okay, so let's go back to my other shit. That's not what I wanted. I didn't want that either. You go down, you go down, <laughs> go down. Let's have some booze. Okay, you turned 61 on the 18th. Happy birthday, Mary. Um, okay, where are we at? What are we doing? What are we doing with our life? Okay, now that we got that all done, let's get to the week. So the way this is gonna work this week is that these four days are gonna be jam-packed with work. I have some freelance work I have to get wrapped up. I'd like to finish all my paintings. The shop is probably gonna get postponed for a few weeks because I just have not had time to finish everything for it and I forgot about my trip, so I, that takes away a week of my life. I have a lot of work to get done in these two weeks, both to cover for my vacation and to, uh, there's just some deadlines that I'm under, like hard deadlines that I'm under right now. Um, I also should add, my, my publishing schedule is changing slightly. I'm still going to publish three times a week, but it's going to be on Tuesdays, Thursdays, <coughs> excuse me, and Sundays instead of Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And the reason I'm doing that is because I've heard a theory that if you give your videos a day to breathe, they, they can like kind of flourish a little bit more, but when you publish right on top of each other, it's not quite as good. And as I've been trying to kind of get the momentum back on my channel after the month where it kind of went in the toilet because of doing my lives every day, I'm gonna give that a shot. So Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays will be the days my new videos will still be, those, and they'll still be three a week right now, but they will be going up on those times, so. Can I see that yellow? Yes, I can see it. And here, see? I don't know if you can barely see it, but it is there. I can read it. I just have to try really hard. So <laughs> what are my top 10 favorite musicals uh, that I've seen? Either on stage or at least, at least a movie version or just the, the cast album. Because the ones that I've seen, Rent, um, Jesus Christ Superstar. Seen both of those multiple times and they are both outstanding yes i am coming to portland for candy shop i will be uh i'm doing a patreon panel to talk about patreon with Madi, who's in the chat somewhere she's on the panel too i am participating in the iron plan america as the champion from last time i've got my my trophy right over there um and then during the after party, the chocolate bar situation, I am doing a live podcast recording with Planner Girl Chatter. Um, Candy Shop is an event the West Coast Planners is putting on in October in Portland. There's Madi. See? Okay, so let's grab some colors here. Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. I'm going to go to DEF CON Brushev. Oh, balls. Okay, there's Gorby, here's Gorby, and now we got Brushev right here. Okay, um, you, I, that's, Madi, I wanted to lose so I could get a You Tried trophy because they made me laugh so hard. All right, so, Monday, what's going on on Monday? I have a lot of shit to do on Monday, partly because I didn't do as much as I thought I was going to do on Friday. Oops. Okay, so I need to edit my videos for the week. I need to, um, schedule some posts out for the week. I need to film, I actually just need to do some fucking work for Kristen that day too, so, so, okay, so I'm going to draw a box, I'm going to draw a, I'm going to draw a half box here, and I'm going to give it a drop shadow, hell yeah, drop shadow, okay, so there's a box. And then in the box, I'm going to put edit. This. I forgot the I in this. Oh, my God. Really weak. I can't spell the simplest of words. Maybe it's because of my delicious mimosa. Or maybe it's because I'm just not paying attention to shit. <sighs> I 
Have I seen the Lore DIY planner and stationery? I have not. Mild liners and I'm just doing all oranges and yellows. Finish the drink. Ah. All right, I need to, uh, I need to, I need to uh, refresh my drink. I need to refresh my beverage. I'm gonna burp again. I need to refresh my beverage. Excuse me. Don't look at my junk. All right. I'm going to burp. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So I, I was thinking the same thing, Jessica. If only Jesse was here. He has had a gig where he's going to rock out with his cock out. That's actually not true. He's not gonna, <laughs> He's not going to have his pants, pants pulled down. He's at a fancy restaurant in St. Helena playing outside. I don't, I don't think the... The upper crust of the up valley of Napa Valley is down for somebody rocking with their like unit flying in the breeze. <laughs> All right. <laughs> at least I'm not yawning. Exactly. Okay. So where are we at? So I have to edit this week. I need to work on my shit for Kristen like ASAP. Because I'm just working, working super hard on Kristen's stuff because I love her. And also because she pays me. And because I'm a fucking professional who says fuck on the internet. But you know what? Don't judge my language. Because I bet you cuss too when you're in the mood for it. I wrote that song just for all of you. Number one top hit. The battle hymn of the freelancer. Okay. <laughs> All right. So there's the list and edit this week. And then I need to uh, um, schedule, schedule some shit. And I'm going to write it exactly like that. I'm going to write it exactly like that schedule. Some shit. <laughs> Schedule some shit. Cat is in their room, aka the lair of all 15 year olds, their room. <laughs> you can never turn the burner on. <laughs> I once made some dinner and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't cooking. It was because I had turned the wrong burner on and you know how I tested it? By touching it. And then I burned my finger because I'm not the smartest light bulb in the bunch if you hadn't figured that out. <laughs> okay, so there's my, there's my Monday KAD list. Edit this week and schedule some shit. So if you ever need to schedule anything, I want you to say it that way in your head. It, it means that you have a higher chance of getting it done because you added your jingle to it. All right. Um, I got to burp again. God, I am full of burps. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> I don't think you'd ever have heard the end of that, Madi, if you called him and been like, I don't know why the oven's not working. Did you turn it on? <laughs> okay, Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday. I need to film. I need to do some filming. 
some filming and shit. No, I don't think I'm going to write it like that, though. But <laughs> some filming on Tuesday. I'm going to do this yellow. I haven't done this yet. Film. Did I get moistness? <gasps> I got moistness. With the microphone, it's even louder. I'm sorry. Am I blowing you guys' ears out? My bad. <laughs> <sighs> you gonna try dip pens moist yeah it's moist okay okay i'm gonna have to write around it film watch this we're gonna commemorate the moist Maybe a different color moist can you see that it says moist there. So that way when I look back and it's dry and I'm like, why did I leave that empty space? It's because it was moist. It was damp. It was swampy. It was dank. I'm using lots of exclamation points this week. I wonder if that's because I have so much shit to do. <laughs> Part of me is just like, fuck, might as well. Might as well just be like bling in all my shit. I'm gonna add a, I'm gonna add a drop shadow with my mild liner. I'm gonna be fancy as fuck, fancy as fuck. I was gonna just try and make sure to use all. I think I'm just gonna try and make sure to use all the colors because I want to decorate with more colors. I want to get orange as fuck, and that is what this week is gonna be called. And I'm not gonna forget that right now. I am going to, I'm gonna write that down in so many words. Pardon, I need the mild liner brush pen. I need the mild liner brush pen. Do I have the right color? Is that orange? No, that's that like one color, isn't it? It's that like, I need something to test this on. It's that one reddish color. Okay, hold on. Hold please. Why don't I have any orange ones? What in the actual fuck? Why don't I have any orange brush pens? Why? Why? Is there a bias? There's this orange Kelly Creates pen. That's a Tombow Food and a Suki. Okay, well, we'll use this yellow one. I'm, I'm, I'm aware of the irony of writing the word orange in yellow. Orange. I'm aware that this is not exactly correct in any sense of the word, but take this food a and add the orange drop shadow. Look at that. Look at that sensualness. Orange. As I need this orange. Orange, you glad I'm using yellow? <laughs> Claudia, you're getting commemorated right now because that's amazing. Now, but will we be able to read it? You glad I used yellow? And I'm put here, trademark Claudia. See, you're in my planner now, Claudia. There you go. I don't know if you can read it because it's in the yellow, but whatever. Orange as fuck. Orange as fuck. And then to make it even more. I just drew some balls because why not? Okay. And I think that that goes for a DEF CON to Khrushchev. Ah! DEF CON Khrushchev right here. Okay. Hey, Abby. You're going to Disney World? Good times. Okay. Oh, wait, were you just saying that because I put your name in here? 
ball stepple. Okay. Now that I've remembered that, let's go back to my planner. And I can still use this. This is still totally usable. Okay. Um, so Tuesday I need to film. What else do I need to do on Tuesday? I need to... I can remember to do the crock pot on Tuesday. That's something I have to do. Let's draw a little crock pot. That's not, it looks more like a sippy cup, but whatever. And then I'll just add in KAD list again because that's just my life this week to wrap this shit up. K. A D list. All right, that's. Why don't we just add another exclamation point? I'm gonna add over here. I have to add something else. Just on top of the September. No! Exclamation points as fuck. Also, <laughs> there we go. Okay. <laughs> Looks like an acorn. Well, here, why don't we just give it some ball stubble? Then it can, then it won't be lonely with the uh, balls. There. <laughs> it's balls. Or kind of like hairy boobs, actually. It could be hairy boobs too. Okay, I don't even know what's happening anymore. I think the alcohol is kicking in. It might almost be washi tape time. I think we're close. We're close, but not quite there yet. All right. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at here? Wednesday, what's going on on Wednesday? Where's my calendar? Wednesday, the dinner. I have to make the fruit salad. I need to edit the next week. And I need to get my patron downloads ready for October. What face? What did I do? Someone screenshotted that face. <laughs> did I make a face? I don't even know. Okay, so fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Who remembers what that's from? Digging deep into the, uh, into the archives here. Make. I'm making this big because even though it's not going to take a lot of time, I have to remember to do this. So <laughs> I can't just like put this off. The Wiggles! Hell yeah! How was the birthday party? It was hot. It was fun, but it was hot because it was in a gymnastics place that wasn't really air conditioned. So, and it was 100 degrees where we were, but it was fun. Fruit salad! Yummy, yummy. And then we'll have to draw because it's hump day. Although I don't know how much Jesse's going to get because the kids are around and we have small house. <laughs> but I think what we'll do here to tie this all together into one fabulous work of art is to draw the, the eggplant and inside it write yummy, yummy. There we go. It's a double meaning, right? It's a double meaning. <laughs> Matter of fact, to make this even more correct, we'll put an eyeball and a mouth with a tongue hanging out and some drool dripping and see it splashes right onto the eggplant. I hope you guys can see the majesticness that is this. Can you see? Yummy, yummy. <laughs> I'm not putting the fruit salad in the in eggplant in the fruit salad. I actually don't like the taste of eggplant, actual eggplant. 
actually figurative eggplant i'm not necessarily the greatest fan of the taste of either but i i, I endure i enjoy the results maybe not so much the uh, process that was a little bit too much information okay so <laughs> yeah my kids are 15 and 13 it's been a long time since i've had that in my head too pamela okay where are we at? Fruit salad, and then I need to edit the previous week. The previous shit. The pre all the things. What shows did the kids watch when they were little? They watched um they watched The Wiggles. They watched Blues Clues. They watched uh Wonder Pets. They watched Sesame Street. Dora and all those are the shows they watched and they also watched like old shows that we watched with them like Thundercats and shit there's an animal in trouble somewhere we just got a letter did I hear about the Blue's Clues comeback I did not all right, so I, I made that line so that I can write within it. Um, edit. Edit. Next week. <laughs> edit next week. I did see about the new Dora movie, but I didn't watch it because it looked a little freaky to me. Although I heard that one of the actresses from the Dora movie is cast in the new Wheel of Time show, which I actually do give a shit about. I give a lot of a shit about the new Wheel of Time show. Just saying. I am a Wheel of Time nerd. Lisa, no stickers, and I'm only using oranges and yellows in honor of Jody Bergeson, who loves orange, and she had she lost her cat this week, so I'm honoring Jody with orange. Do you know I put edit on Monday and Wednesday? Yes, Claudia, because Wednesday I have to edit this coming up week. Those videos are done. They just have to be edited, but I didn't get around to it last week. And then this, I need to edit the following week's video so that they're done while I'm in New York. Lots of editing. We did not watch Barney. I thought the kids on Barney were fucking assholes. So I had no interest in it. And then, um... It should probably fit in some laundry here. Laundry. I'm gonna lose lettering chicken. I'm gonna lose lettering chicken. I lost lettering chicken. It's okay. Laundry. Okay. I always thought Caillou had alopecia. I watched the shit out of Captain Planet, no lie. Oh, I'm sorry your mom's in the hospital, Mod. Have I heard the soundtrack for Come From Away? No, I, I've heard it's awesome. I just haven't heard it yet. I forgot Mexico's Independence Day. I don't celebrate Mexico's Independence Day. I don't celebrate America's Independence Day. <laughs> I'm kind of a Grinch when it comes to holidays. Like, I don't celebrate a lot of holidays. Not because I'm, like, religious about it or anything. I just don't. I'm lazy and I don't care that much. <laughs> Caillou. I thought Caillou had alopecia. I always did because he didn't have any hair. Your ex's kid was all about the Ninja Turtles. I love Ninja Turtles too. I watched the shit out of Sailor Moon when I was little. Or not little, but I was in high school. Um, thanks for reminding us who a potluck Sunday. You're welcome, Liz. You'll make me an honorary Mexican. Okay. All right. Um. Thursday, I have to make the packing list on Thursday. I need to clean out the fridge on Thursday. We need to double check with the house sitter on Thursday. Um, what else? What else is on Thursday? A lot of things are on Thursdays a busy, busy day. Sailor Moon is on Hulu now. Ooh. I have to watch this. How's my wellness planner coming? It's coming along good. I have a bunch of pictures printed out from the last week, but I haven't put them in yet, so I need to do that. Okay, so Wednesday, um, I need or Thursday, I need to do a checklist for uh, 
I make a checklist. To do, I added a second O for some reason. <laughs> to do. Need to check in with the house sitter. And I need to, a uh, packing list. And clean out fridge. And then I need to do the downloads for my patrons for October. So those are out of the way. Just decorating this more and more. Why not create downloads? <laughs> I don't think that's actually good. Okay. I think I'm losing it. I think we're, I think it's time to chug. Okay, we're good. I don't even know what's going on in the comments. Oh, lots of anime talk. Okay. You know, the funny thing is, aside from Sailor Moon, all anime puts me to sleep. I don't know why. I'll sit and watch anime. And within 20 minutes, I'm out. Regardless of how exciting. I had to watch Akira in art class. Even with like all the rapiness and everything else that's in that fucking movie. And I still fell asleep. <sighs> okay. Um, create the downloads, do all my to-do list, and then, um, work on the AD list, because that's what I gotta do. I'm feeling like I'm running low on colors. Maybe I should use this one. Okay. Hey. list. Yeah. All right. Friday. My nose itches. I need a, a, a napkin. I need a napkin. Okay. All right. Where are we at? Where are we at? That was a scary voice. <laughs> when am I going? Why am I going to New York? Jesse's parents live there and his mom is selling the house he grew up in and moving to Florida as they do on Long Island. And Jesse wants to say goodbye to the house and like help his mom get some stuff figured out. So we're going back there for like five days. Yeah, it's like, there is no Dana, only Zool. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Loki, I just kicked you. I'm sorry, kitty, I didn't know you were right, like, on top of my foot. Okay, Friday, our flight. When the fuck is our flight? Our flight's late. Our flight, oh, our flight's late. Late. Um. As a matter of fact, I think I want, like, let's make this. This is a fun way to do bubble letters if you are stressed about bubble letters. <laughs> Burps. If you are stressed about trying to do bubble letters, draw them out with a with a highlighter. And then trace around them. And you will have instant bubble letters that aren't stressful for you. Well, at least not relatively stressful for you. Why so late? Because it's a red eye, and that's the one that was available. I like red eyes because they, uh, A, they don't have any, they're nonstop, and B, we get there in the morning, and Jesse, at least, Jess can sleep on the plane. So he's usually good to go and can start helping his mom with shit, because she usually has, like, jobs for him, like fix my internet and things like that. And so he'll usually get some time with his mom and I'll spend some time sleeping because I don't sleep very well in an airplane. So I'm usually wide awake through most of it, watching a movie or something. Hopefully I'm not going to do anything dumb like drinking um, a, like alcoholic beverage before getting on the plane. The last time I flew a red eye, I drank I had a, a couple glass like cocktails at the airport bar right before we flew. 
and I had a massive headache from being dehydrated on the plane. So hopefully I don't do that to myself this time. I will let you know. Fly to New York. York? I can't spell. What the fuck, dude? Why am I like... I don't even know. Oh, I forgot to put record podcast. No, I put record podcast. That's good. Okay. So we'll have a little, a little event sticker here. Uh, some more drop shadow. Yes, Gaga. Okay. <sighs> um, schedule next week. That was super sloppy, and I don't even care. Oh, pack, pack. I wrote that there. We're good. All right, um, what else am I gonna write here? I don't even know. Wrap up loose ends. Whatever that winds up looking like. All right. All right, so Saturday. Now, because I'm not actually probably going to use my planner too much on these days, who knows what's going to happen Saturday. I'm going to sleep, obviously, but I'm also going to be hanging out with Jesse's family. So maybe I should put hang with the in-laws really big and eat. Oh, I know what I'm going to do on Saturday. <gasps> to do. Make my to-do list. To do. Nice and big. To do. But I'm putting it there. You guys ready for my epic Saturday to-do list? Eat pizza. Eat bagels. <laughs> because they're delicious in New York. Red eyes are overnight, Jessica. Like I've flown red eyes at like that leave at 10 p.m. This one is leaving closer to midnight. But what you do is if you're flying back east, you you get on the plane at 10 a.m. and you get back east at like 6 a.m. with the time change and everything. So it's just you fly basically through the night to get there the next morning. And also, because it's not going to fit here, eat at Seaport Delhi. My ex, my ex, my husband, the one I'm married to, is from East Setauket. And like the Port Jeff area, and there's a deli there called Seaport Deli that makes these sandwiches that are goddamn good. I'm gonna eat one of those too. Eat is my is my uh, goal for my time in New York. Eat all to do. Eat all the things. <laughs> Juniors for cheesecake. If I have time, okay. I think I need another drink and then we'll get back to this. Give me one second. Don't look at my junk. Cindy, am I drunk? Yes, maybe. All right, I thought I should show you um, these flowers. If I should show you these flowers, I got them from Michael's, a bunch of these ones. I'm gonna use these to decorate the house for fall. I like these colors. I had some sunflowers from before I've used for the past few years, but I can't find the box that has them and I kind of wanted to do something different. So I'm gonna be doing that after this. I'm gonna be decorating my house with a couple of mimosas in me, rock and roll. You're gonna suggest a pizza place for the Sunday meetup. It's called John's. It's in the theater district, and it's. I'll have to look that up, Deb, because I still have no idea where that's gonna happen. <sighs> or to take planner picks. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, let's go. Let's upgrade. Now that I'm on three mimosas. Beep. 
We're de upgrade to Defcon Stalin since we're three mimosas deep now. We're on to three. Well, not three mimosas deep. Technically two mimosas deep, but I'm on the third one. All right. Sunday. Meeting up with people somewhere. And the big other thing on Sunday is... Hades Town. If you have not, if you have listened to the soundtrack from Hades Town, put some emojis in the chat. I want to see emojis from the people who understand the majesticness of the Hades Town soundtrack. Lo. In the coldest time of year, why is it so hot down here? Hotter than a crucible. It ain't right and it ain't natural. Patrick Page is my boyfriend. And hopefully he will be there when I go see it because he is my boyfriend. Besides the Drusilva is Patrick Page. Hades Town. If you haven't listened to Hades Town and you enjoy musicals, 10 out of 10, check out the music because it is absolutely magnificent. Um, oh, and earlier one of you asked me what my 10 favorite musicals and I listed Rent and um, Jesus Christ Superstars musicals I've seen. I've seen Phantom of the... Burps, I've seen Phantom of the Opera multiple times. It used to have a standing production in San Francisco and I saw it there I think four times plus we saw the 25th anniversary tour um really I did not know that Jessica Hades Town is a musical Claudia it's a retelling of the Orpheus and Eurydice myth from Greek mythology as well as Persephone and Hades but it's told in a very like New Orleans-ish very bluesy kind of folk music kind of way it's awesome Um, Phantom of the Burps. <laughs> um, I love Les Mis. I love Little Shop of Horrors. Um, what else? Hamilton is amazing. Dear Evan Hansen was excellent. Uh, in terms of cast albums, Hades Town is way up there. Six is a musical I would love to see on stage. I love the soundtrack to it. Uh, I love the movie of A Chorus Line, but I would love to see the stage show because I know they're very different from each other. Have I seen Book of Mormon? I have not, and it's on my list. It's coming back to San Francisco, I think, and I think we want to try and see it. Jersey Boys is another one I haven't seen on stage, but I would love to see. I got to see Ain't Too Proud, which is the musical this last year that got nominated for Tony's, The Story of the Temptations. I actually got to see that when it was off-Broadway um, at the Berkeley Repertory Theater, and that was so good. I have not seen Waitress, and I haven't really listened to music from it either. I, I would kill to see Spring Awakening on stage. I love the music of Spring Awakening. All right, so here is this. So let's get to the washi tape. This is my orange week so far. Let's do some Hades Town lyrics. Let's do some lyrics. Uh... To the world we dream about and the one we have now. Is that the quote? It's something like that. Yep, the world we dream about and the one we live in now. RJ, would you go close the front door, please? Thank you.
Is your window closed? Close the front door, please. This is the weakest lettering. And then now I gotta draw something down here. So I'm gonna do some eggplants because why not? These are like the jankiest little eggplants I think I've ever drawn. I'm gonna pick a different color for a bit. It smells like mom in here. It smells like mom? Yeah. Is that a insult? Yeah. Why is that an insult? I smell good. Yeah. What do I smell like? You smell like... Choose bread. your words carefully. You smell like Loki's bread. Like ham? I don't smell. I smell delicious. I smell like majesticness. They can't for you because you're there. You can't smell you. Yeah, well, you can't smell me either because all you smell is your garlic armpits. No, I can only smell you. You said I smell like Loki's breath, which smells like ham. Loki's breath smells worse than ham. These are my janky eggplants. These are... <laughs> <laughs> the mild liner come out with a brush marker? Yes. <sighs> Little sperms with witch hats? Yes. Okay, so here is... It's okay, Loki, Loki. Come here, buddy. Hold on. I'm going to switch because the planner is done. So I still have a drink to drink. So we're going to switch to my face. Hi! And my kitty. No, it, it smells like pot in here. Have you been smoking pot, RJ? No. Hold on. Give me a second. Say hi, kitty. I grabbed a kitty. It's a kitty boy. I got a kitty. I have a kitty who hates being picked up. He hates being picked up. We always joke around that this is like his hello darkness, my old friend. Look, because he doesn't. But let, he lets me play with his toes, though. He lets me play with his footsies. It's okay, buddy. When we get a kitten, we're going to train the kitten to like being held because Loki hates it. He hates it with every bone in his kitty body. But he's orange, like my spread. He's my orange kitty. He's my orange kitty. He's my handsome boy who hates me so much right now. <laughs> and your breath does smell like ham. When are we bringing in his? He's gone now. He's over me. When are we bringing in his roommate? Um, I don't know yet. Probably a few weeks because we want to get back from New York and then transfer him because he's a free feeding kitty. We want to transfer him back to meals so that we have that as a tool to help him get to know the new kitten. So probably not until maybe the first weekend of October in that range. Does he like other cats? He doesn't mind. He had a problem at the old house that he was at because there were four other cats and he wasn't getting the attention he needed. Both of the adults in the house worked and so they weren't home all day and then there were four other cats to compete with. But I'm home all day and there's plenty of attention to go around here. And he had a brother who he got along great with. So we're hoping that he will be fine with a kitten, like a teenager age kitten who he can boss around a little bit. Hi, bud. I'm sorry for picking you up. I know he doesn't mind being on people's shoulders. He just doesn't like not. He likes to be in control of where he is at any given time. He is my orange boy. My beautiful orange kitty boy. Hi, friend. 
He's still sitting next to me, so he doesn't hate me that much for picking him up. Anyway, I have so many nesting dolls on my desk right now. <laughs> um, yeah, so this live plan with me was a little all over the place, but I got so much shit to do this week, dudes. Like, I got so much shit to do this week. I have so much shit. Did I mention how much shit I have to do this week? I have a lot of shit to do this week. <sighs> Whoops. But today I'm going to, as soon as I'm done on here, I'm going to decorate a little bit for fall and then I'm going to get the house kind of tidied up. I got to do some laundry too. Speaking of which, cat, did you move your laundry? RJ, move your laundry All right. now so that cat can put their laundry in. Okay. Thank you. Anyway, I did watch the Jackson Galaxy videos, and I am not a cat lady. RJ, this is not the laundry. This is my desk. Leave a look. He's I'm under my desk, which means... I'm just going around. Why are you going around this way? I don't know. Okay, I love you, my sweet boy. Okay. You waiting to see if they comment on you? No. Go. I'll tell you if they say anything nice. I don't care. Okay. Go do your laundry. <sighs> She's being like my annoying teacher right now. I'm being like his annoying teacher right now. Well, you're being like my annoying son right now. Oh, wait! You are! Shut up. <sighs> <sighs> anyway. <laughs> I do love my kids. I swear I love my kids. Most days. <laughs> Are they jealous they can't go? To Kate, a uh, cat is. Yeah. Because I think mostly because we're going to see Hades Town. <laughs> but yeah, but they just can't miss a week of school, especially this close to school starting. And this was the only time we could go. So. I mean, they've gone with us before, a while ago. We should take them back again. We just, I'm my, it's my eye makeup like melting. I'm looking in like the, I think I've had too many mimosas. <sighs> Maybe. I need to order some candles. I, uh. When does that thing fall smells like? I need to order some candles. I need to get some fall candles. I have one leaves candle, which is my favorite smell from the fall. Probably my favorite candle of all time, but I need to get some more. I don't know how I've survived so far with the teenage years, but I mean, my kids are decent. They're not asshole. Ooh, I got a... Hold on, oh, please. I got a, I got a comment on my swearing on one of my videos, but it was a nice comment. Like, you probably shouldn't do this on YouTube, but I appreciate your video. <laughs> They're not wrong. I probably shouldn't do my, uh, cussing on YouTube, but I do it anyway, because what the fuck am I else am I going to do? Am I going to censor myself? That's hard. And I don't want to do things that are hard. <sighs> By the Body Works is having to sail. Oh, okay. Maybe you guys should be on here right now. Well, let's, let's grab my computer screen because I can do that too. I, I know how to do things. Let's do some candle ordering together while I'm finishing my mimosa because why not? Whoa. Trippy. Do, 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 do. Okay. Huh? Look at this. Look how trippy this looks. Can I see that? <laughs> yes. Mm. You finally just give up and eat some banana bread? It's a nice hearty slice. Okay, don't eat any more than that, though, please. All right. Let's... No, this, is, this is what I'm leaving. 
Oh, ball sack. Hold on. I'm doing this wrong. Mom, this is what I'm leaving. That's what I'm going to eat. Okay, let's... Oh, I need my comments still, too, though. Comments. You're not the best at this. No, I'm not. I'm not the best at this. That's what I said. Okay. That's exactly <laughs> what I said. Okay, let's do some candle shopping. Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works. Okay, what's on sale for candles? All full-size body care. Ooh la la. Do I need any of that? No, I want candles. How much are candles right now? $10 off. Okay. Oh, bye, Mark. All right, we got $10 off. Let's do some smells. Let's get some scents. Let's filter. Fragrance category. Fruit. Citrus. <clears throat> and floral. Those are the ones I like done uh sweater weather what's sweater weather you eucalyptus not my thing okay um i have vampire blood rj does not like the smell of it he's like shaking his head at me right now like don't you dare mom he did not like vampire blood vanilla pumpkin marshmallow that sounds delicious champagne toast this is one of my favorites let's add you to bag Okay. Why would you Continue buy shopping. From Bath and Body Works online, considering you smell I've smelled some of these before, and if I read the smell notes, then I have an idea of what they're gonna leaves. This one's one of my favorites. So I had two of you to bag. It's champagne toast. What does it smell like? Um, it smells delicious, but let's see here. So the champagne toast smells like bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine with essential oils. Like it's citrusy, but it's also like a little bit, it's not like in your face citrusy. I really love this one. This is one of my favorites. I've gone through, I think, four or five of those in the past. Vampire blood smells like Horrible. blood red strawberry, midnight blooming jasmine, dark Transylvanian plum with essential oils. I like the smell of it. RJ does not like the smell of it. That one smells horrible. The New York City candle does smell good. I like the London candle, but they don't sell it anymore. It's like bergamot and tea and lemon or something. What's apple weather? That's There's like some black market. Website Apples, that. lavender, and cinnamon bark. I bet that smells good. I, There's like some black market website that sells all the discontinued ones. Maybe. Oh, NYC is champagne toast? Okay. Yeah, the London one makes me really happy, but they don't carry that one anymore. Um, but that's a fancy looking leaves one, but I don't want that one. Rose, black cherry merlot, there's another leaves. Limoncello is one I like a lot. Midnight blue citrus is one of my favorites. This love one and the energy one, I burned both of these and really liked them. So I'm going to add one of each of those as well. Item in your bag. Oh yes, Jennifer. Here, let me give you. Let me give you the. Uh, I mean, I'll find you the website, uh, Jennifer. I'm going to give you my email. Send me an email, and I'll send you the link because I'm going to put it out. But I haven't figured out how I'm going to do it yet. So here's my email. Shoot me an email so I can send you the link to get tested if you want to. You don't have to, but if you want to. Mom, did Jason tell you how much he was going to do? You guys can see how much shit's in my fucking inbox right now. Where's my candles? Um, He was going to finish the front of the, the whole house with Prime. The whole house? The whole outside of the house. Yo, wow. dude. What are we going to paint it? Um, probably not for a couple weeks. Um, What does gingham smell like? Blue freesia, white peach, fresh clementine. That sounds yummy. I'm going to try you. I think 10150 that's probably my limit. But I do have a... Oh, God, I forgot. They've got the body care on sale. Full size... What that one smells like. Full size body care. I'm not going to get that one. 
But that love one smells fucking bomb. In a, I can't use that code though. I've got a different code. Hold on. I've got RJ. Will you get me that fall smells like postcard off of my bulletin board? Because I have a wow. code. That fall smells like thing right there. You hold this for a sec, Dad. Yes. Oh, he's eating cocoa puffs. All right, we're doing we're doing a candle order here, but I got to use a coupon too. Because even though these are all on sale, that's a lot of fucking money on candles. 20% off. I saved this one. I saved this. Oh, don't spill my Cocoa Puffs. I don't want to spill them on my boobies. My boobs. Okay, where's the code? Oh, it's a long code. Okay, so I'm going to get off the screen here. Oh, trippy. Here we go. Okay, let me put my order in. Promotion code. I got to type in a whole bunch of shit. You guys, this is what happens. I drink, and then I order candles. <laughs> RJ stands for Robert James. Yes, Robert James. W. Please tell me I got it's that. A long code. I know, right? Did it work? Yes. Brought it down to 95 bucks. I'll take it. Okay, everyone, here's your free code. Nope. <laughs> oh, why am I ordering these? No, 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 I can't order these. When are they going to ship? They're going to get here while I'm gone. Oh, well, whatever. If somebody will grab it. Cheaper than hookers and blow. This is true. Shipping address right? Yes. Submit. Okay, cool. My candles are coming in. Does Tom like anything that I do? Who's Tom? I don't know. It's a of next video. Oh. Right here. I don't know who Tom is. <laughs> All right. I ordered my candles. Okay, we're good. This is what I do when I've been drinking on live. Now what else? Ask me some questions because I'm going to be done here with this drink. I will answer questions until I'm done with my mimosa. You're lurking and you're eating Cocoa Puffs right over my shoulder. And I'm dripping like condensation on my thigh. I'm turning my lights off. Why don't you start putting these nesting dolls back, dude? I'm in the middle of something right now. You're in the middle of something? What are you in the middle of? Your Cocoa Puffs? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll answer the first question is not on here. I have never spent money on hookers and blow before. Combined. What meal from a work of fiction would I most like to try? That is a specific question. Um, Don't eat any of my Cocoa Puffs. I'm not going to eat any of your Cocoa Puffs. Um, Wait, what was the question? What meal would I eat from a work of fiction? I really have always wanted to know, like if you've read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the book and he charlie's all like scrawny because he's poor and willy wonka scoops some like warm frothy chocolate in a mug and gives it to him like willy wonka gives him a warm frothy mug of chocolate when they're in the boat on the chocolate river and even like in the movie it looks like you know like sewer water but in the book it reads like delicious chocolate even though augustus gloop got sucked into it i've always wanted to know what that tasted like Oh my God, just take a couple trips, dude. Multiple trips. So yeah. Um, all right. Any romantic night scheduled for New York? We're hoping to do something nice for ourselves like after Hades Town, but I want to go. There was a restaurant he took me to on Long Island and we had steak and lobster and it was really good. I'd like to go back there. I'd like to go out to dinner or something with just him at least once while we're out there, but we haven't scheduled anything. Um, RJ did have banana bread. 
Yes, this is how he he. This is how RJ operates. He eats everything. Put that one right here. No, don't break it. Okay, now come back for the rest. For two. And for Gorby. Question: Did you see Heather Kell's review on the Happy together. Planner? Yeah, I'll put Corby together. Happy Corby. I did not see Heather's review on the. Ha I want to get. I don't. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't watch review videos of planners because I want to come to them with my own opinion. I just haven't been able to get my hands on one yet because my staples is miniature and they don't have any happy planner stuff. So I'm trying to get my hands on a spiral happy planner so I can do my own review of it. But in the meantime, I'm not going to watch any reviews on it because I like to have my own opinion. Plus, I think Heather and I would have very different opinions because Heather is very much like a disc person and I think discs are garbage. So <laughs> our opinions are going to be very different. Discs. discs. Don't worry about it, dude. It's a planner thing. Because I, I know. You need to know? I said I need to. Well, I'll tell you when you come over here. Don't forget. You got Garby to grab. Okay. What is my favorite homemade dinner? Fried chicken, mashed potatoes, and corn. There's Gorby. Open your mail, perhaps? Yes! RJ, will you go? There's a stack of mail by on the pass-through. Go. I'm too, I'm busy, After you put Gorby I'm busy away. I'm doing the thing that you're telling me to do before. Okay, well, put Gorby away, then get me the stack of mail that's on the pass-through. Hand it's like painted in the USSR. Boxes and shit. Yeah, because it's fucking Gorbachev. Where else would somebody make a nesting doll of Gorbachev? This is George W. Bush. It's George W. Bush. I forgot. Sorry. Um, favorite meal from a TV show? Hmm. I don't know. I'll settle with you. It's Gorb W. Bush. Gorb W. Bush. <laughs> Is it this stuff? My favorite non-ed planner? I'm not sure what you're asking, Claudia. It's gonna be like your taxes and stuff. It's not my taxes. Okay, so some specific mail in here. I got mail, whoops. This is from your ass log. Okay, I have a bunch of mail from my PO box. If you've sent me something and I haven't opened it yet, it's because I was trying to wait for an opportunity to open it and I just haven't had the time yet, but Alice Log is in the chat and I want to open there. Sorry if I just showed your address on camera. Um, your mail that you sent all the way from Iceland. Oh, EC, non-planner EC. Uh, Wait, your mom just docked someone? The Yellow Paper House Planner is really awesome, and I like the Get to Work book if it wasn't for the shitty-ass binding. Oh, is it the Wire O binding? Oh, yeah, I saw a picture of it, and I was like, they had to pick that crappy-ass binding for the Bound Happy Planner? So we have this beautiful postcard. That is gorgeous. Look at that. And then this beautiful Iceland. What is that? What is that? That's so pretty. That looks like either a firework, a volcano, or some other stuff. Oh, Auslog sent me some post, some washi tape. And here's a postcard that, where your village is. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you so much. And they sent me, Auslog sent me a bunch of hollow, simply gilded washi tape. Look at that. Look how many of them there are. That's so pretty. Thank you so much. That is wonderful. That's a volcano. I knew it. I called it. Holy shit. Big brain. Big uh, brain. Mom, big brain. Would I ever do art for Twitch streamers? Maybe. I don't know. Ugh. Potentially. Favorite binder planner? Um, of all the inserts I've used, I really like the inserts from Sweet Kawhi Designs. And I like the paper from So Much Crafting, but the layouts are just not my thing. You hear sorry, my anaconda? That's awesome. I have some other mail here. I'll open some of that too. This one is, some of these are letters and I don't want to read letters on camera because, but this one came from Essex in the UK. Holy crap. 
This is I don't want to destroy the thing because I'm trying to send thank you notes. Oh, as you recover from your operation, hope you feel brighter. Oh my God. You guys, look at this handwriting. This is from Christine in Essex, the UK. Look at this handwriting. Can you see that? It looks like print. Like it looks like... Can you see how like neat and fabulous that handwriting is? Look at that. This is a very sweet card about my recovering from my surgery. But that handwriting is just stunning. I'm going to have to take a look at that later. And then I have this thing from um, California. This is from Oceanside. My dad could write in straight lines on Blake paper. UK has handwriting classes. Well, that would make sense because that's gorgeous handwriting. This is a priority mailbox from California that I'm just tearing into. I'm just destroying it to get into it. Oh, what the hell? Oh, is this from M? No, this isn't from M. I think M stuff is in another box. This is from... Look at this lettering. She wrote thanks. That's awesome. This is from Aisha. Oh. You are changing lives one oh high mark at a time. Oh, she sent me a toad. Look. It says in the back, today is going to be an amazing day. Because it's a dear Evan Hansen. RJ. What? What? Somebody, somebody told me. Why are you crying? So, Okay. What do you have to say about that, you little punk? Why are you being mean to me? <laughs> He's my boy. Why don't you show them my impression of my crying face? Your impression of my crying face. Like, bed down so they can see your impression of my crying face. <laughs> and then she always goes like this too <laughs> okay and they sent me um, a bunch of stickers along with the tote it was really nice of that thank you Aisha what else do I have here this is from Pam in South Carolina, Pam Stein. Whoa. This is that new bendy palette knife. It doesn't work as well as the other one. I'm just going to get through this mail that I haven't opened. I have a bunch of it, though. I have so much mail that I have to get through. And if you sent me anything, I'm so grateful for you sending me something. I just, I'm constantly a fucking mess and I never get around to like looking at things because I'm because I'm like so like far behind on everything all the time because I procrastinate and fucking yeah just all my excuses oh what's this okay there's a card look at that I love it when do I want to enable di dictation what no are those the names of the volcanoes outslog that is a lot of letters this is from Pam Stein. And yes, Pam, we have the same exact birthday. And look at her beautiful writing. Look at that. 
Look how nice and neat that is. She made me a box pouch. <gasps> Look at this. She made me a pouch out of eggplant material. RJ, look at this. And the inside is, this is her uh, shop, Thunderhead Sewing. Did you say my name? Look. RJ. It's like a bag. It's like a pouch. Okay. He doesn't care. That is awesome. I have to come back and like give these letters a closer look, but that is amazing. Thank you so much, Pam. And then I have airmail from Canada from somebody in Canada whose name's not on the outside. That is perfect for my trip. And they sent me some extra stickers from an oops bag that they won't use. Some podcast stickers and some YouTube stickers. Thank you, Christina. <laughs> I will use these. And then this one is from K. Cahill and Virginia Beach. I've got more mail too. If you guys want me to keep opening mail till I finish my mimosa, I've got more in my box right here that I have to get through. This is just a little note. Comrade communication. <laughs> This is amazing. This is like a whole like prompt for um, thinking and journaling, like an entire prompt list. This is awesome. I'm gonna have to come back to this when I am not drunk. And then in this box, what do I have? I have a whole bunch of things that I have not, oops. There's a lot of things in here that I have not like really gone through yet. Like this one is from M from Compulsive Crafts who made this for me, this beautiful eggplant little like ceramic situation. And M also sent me uh, some washi tape. And I can't, it's all mixed up because I, I didn't keep it very neatly because I'm, I'm terrible, I'm a terrible person. There's some other stuff in here. I have to go through this mail and figure it all out. I've like fucked my whole shit up. So if you sent me something and I haven't said thank you for it yet, I probably opened it and just don't know what the fuck I'm doing. So thank you. <sighs> I should make this a weekly video. I don't get enough mail to open on a weekly basis, but M sent me some other stuff too. And it's in here and it just got lost in translation because all my shit's in a box and it all fail, fa fell like Cindy Lantier sent me a couple of cards and they're both really awesome and some other stuff and it's all in here and I just can't fucking figure out what I did with any of it. Sorry, Loki. Like I've got stickers and oops and this sing charm from Amy, one of my patrons. I've got a bunch of things and I'm just terrible at keeping them all. I'm so bad at this. I need a personal assistant. Um, anyway, you guys, you're amazing, and I thank you Thank you so much for all your comments. You're so awesome. Anyway, you guys, I need to get going. I'm going to finish this off, so let's finish my, my drink. It's all done. Cheers to you all. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.